May 11th, 2017. Travels with Phil continues in New Ulm, Minnesota. This is called the Defenders Monument. See Flandro up there. And this is all about uh, the citizens and the locals who uh, were killed or defended the community when the Santee Sioux, Dakota Sioux, uh, started their uh, revolt in 1862. And uh, some interesting carvings on the side. And basically what happened was the... Uh, it's, it's a long story, but... Uh, the government wasn't providing enough food for the Indians, so they revolted and went on a rampage and made their way down quite some distance and knew almost one of the places where uh, they came to in open warfare. This is where they set up a barricade right here in this uh, bass relief, I believe they would call it. And uh, lots of local citizens were killed, as were... Uh, Lots of the Sioux. And so this marks uh, remembrance in this particular case only for the uh, pioneer settlers, not for the Indians. Now, lots of people were killed. And uh, don't, don't be misconstrued here. There were lots of uh, bad things that the Indians did, even though they were on the short end of the stick when it came to the government living up to their... Uh, treaty obligations. Basically, they weren't providing food and the Indians were starving. And uh, agency, uh, the Indian agent there basically said, let them eat grass because he didn't have food for them to give out. Uh, they killed him, by the way, and shoved grass down his throat. So, yes, it was not a, it was not a good deal on either side. It was uh, depredations on both sides of the, this issue. But lots of innocents were killed in these battles in 1862. 38 of the Santee Sioux, the Dakota Sioux, were executed in Mankato. Saw that spot in one of the other videos. In December 26th, 1862, the largest mass execution ever in United States history. But again, this is a, a marker in remembrance of all the uh, innocent people, or the settlers here, who were killed in the fighting. And for those who... Uh, engaged in the fighting as well. Travels with Phil, back to you.